Oh my gosh, I hope this is the last video I have to do on Ed Piscor and cartoonist Kayfabe. It's gotten very, very bad for the artist, as of course we saw the DMs from the girl who alleged he was trying to get her to go over to his house and all that when she was 17 years old. And then we found yesterday that he was out there stalking her profile on Instagram back when she was 14 even. Crazy stuff. Uh, and so... Uh, he's deleted his uh, Twitter profile. We know this. Instagram's still up. Uh, just cartoonist Kayfabe went down for a little bit on YouTube, and now it's back up. But now there's a new allegation that surfaced from another artist in the industry who says she was getting much the same treatment, kind of even looter at the time. And she was of age at the at the very least. Oh my gosh. I guess there's some standards a little bit. And we'll get into that news in just a moment. My name's John Delarose. I'm a number one best-selling author and award-winning comic creator. And I really appreciate you guys being here. We are fighting the good fight in the culture to just make comics good again. Uh, the mainstream industry really has caused a lot of problems over the years with their wokeness, with their male feminism, Ed Piscor, and other things out there. And we are trying to make a difference. So we're creating comics. I've got a bunch of books in my web store. I would love for you to check those out. Love my customers. You don't have to agree with me politically or anything like that. I'm the opposite of Marvel and DC. I appreciate you for reading. And if you really do want to support what we do, I've got Subscribestar. This helps our uh, creation of comics. It's it's paying for some of the art that we're doing with right here. It also helps me with the Phantom Pulse. It's, it's covering our uh, monthly web hosting fees and the like right now. So if you just want to support us on a monthly basis and like really just dive in and be an early adopter to help me out here, I appreciate you guys for doing so. So we got a bunch of new subscribers this week. Thank you guys so much for signing up. And uh, thank you for believing in what we're going to accomplish here. It's just getting started. The best is yet to come. So that link's in the description below as well. It's a Patreon alternative i'm banned from patreon uh so uh, <laughs> thank you guys uh, for coming on an alternative website as well so here's the news of the day uh another woman comes forward accusing ed piscor and cartoonist kayfabe of lewd online behavior so this developed yesterday this woman came out with a post where she uh didn't actually post the text here but she uh she she did a screenshot kind of thing i, I don't know how women use the internet, but it is what it is. Uh, it's come to my attention that an experience I had in Pittsburgh is similar to several women's experiences regarding Ed Piscor. Uh, very, very wild stuff. Uh, I reached out to Ed, and this is where it gets even crazier. He eagerly invited me over. We had plenty of fun and discussed animation and comics. Sounds innocuous enough until it's not, right? Then it, then it hits. And this is until he asked me to suck his D in exchange for his agent's number. Whoa! I uh, was not expecting that to come out of this, uh, and that uh, that's quite the accusation right there. Now, uh, this woman uh, is not afraid. She actually appeared in my live stream chat yesterday, and Google does suppress my live stream chats. I'm, I'm usually live around 12 Pacific if you guys uh, want to stop by and say hello. I love, uh, of course, meeting you guys. Uh, and uh, she was in there and actually confirmed all of this in the chat yesterday. It was super nice. Uh, and, uh, and I, I feel very bad for her. I mean, she's, <laughs> she's, uh, really not, uh, you know, somebody who's going to be grifting off of this or anything like that from what I could tell deleted all this, uh, after she posted it. He then asked me to join him for an open relationship. If I wanted to eat pee, I mean, I'm dead serious. So, uh, and then she starts to put two and two together of, of who's, uh, that she's supposed to be eating. And uh, I'd be free to do so. <laughs> I've recently learned that he was attempting to line up some of those girls at the same time. And guess what? Today, I learned some of them were minors. Absolutely sick stuff. Ed and I's exchanges were short-lived. Only about two or so years, we would check in on each other every day for a couple months. Uh, it was clear he'd grown afraid of me. I wanted several people over the years, warned several people over the years about him. Uh, so those of you that already know, I ask that you be supportive and kind to all the women that come forward in the coming weeks. Wow. She goes further on this, uh, which she did post to Twitter. Again, these are all deleted as of now, and she actually said she was going to do so yesterday. Uh, I'll delete this eventually. I don't want this gross, slimy scumbag to taint my timeline for good, so I'll keep this short and brief. Several people are coming forward with their Ed Pisker stories. At first, I shrugged it off because I've known he was a creep for a very long time. Uh-oh. This is going to get very interesting right here, and uh, she gets savage. <laughs> Some of you already know because I've been vocal about it, but recently I learned that one of them was a minor, and of course we covered that yesterday. He was perusing a minor at the same time as me. I know she's getting a ton of shit for what happened, so I'm posting in support of her. Uh, and it's very sad. I've uh, I've gone uh, to the gal's Instagram page who 
uh, originally voiced with this, and she's getting death threats and all this stuff uh, from cartoonist kayfabe fans uh, saying, you know, uh, they have a really good channel. Why are you doing this to them? <laughs> About their comic interviews. It's absolutely ridiculous. And the poor girl's getting bombarded. Uh, feel terrible for her. And of course, uh, if she does watch this, I stand with you and really, really uh, appreciate your bravery in coming out against this uh, guy in the industry who's pretty popular. All right. Um, and so uh, <laughs> this uh, to the weird people saying we're doing this for press. Uh, dude is literally a effing loser that had to resort to making a YouTube channel to pressure small comic shops into bulk buying a bunch of unsellable comics from him that take up space on the shelves while he uses false bulk ordering numbers to falsify his success. Wow. <laughs> this is shots fired right here. And this is probably true. If you look at Ed Piscor's comics, I mean, they're really weird. I don't see them being commercially viable whatsoever. I mean, the guy's got just this very funky style and the writing's like, pretty bad at the end of the day. And so I was like, huh, how is this stuff actually getting out there and all this stuff? It's, it's very weird. And this is what the mainstream does a lot of the time. They, they lie about their sales numbers to gin themselves up. It's a huge clout structure and a whisper network. So you try to build your clout and your whisper network in, in there. And, uh, and, they, and what happens is they hide a lot of these sales. Now even Marvel and DC are hiding their sales. And they do these little tactics. That's another story for another time. But that's where it's going uh, at this point. Uh, I remember when this guy first met me, he tried to impress me before the channel existed. Here's the funny, way crazier part. He would talk shit on Jim Rugg, that's his co-host on Cartoonist Kayfabe, call him a bad artist and said he would never draw gore for attention. And Ed Piscor, of course, does draw gore. For those of you that know why this is insane, and that's kind of what Red Room's all about, uh, that's the personality type we're working with here. Anyway, it's so weird seeing him use the same lines on me, calling me good girl and nerdy bum on a literal child. Uh, and of course, we did verify those. I'm speechless. Anyway, I will be deleting this, like I said, because the guy doesn't deserve any of my attention ever again. Yikes. Well, this uh, woman absolutely savages him, and it seems very well deserved at this point. Uh, we will be uh, watching as this happens. I hope this is the last video uh, because this all needs to end. Uh, and hopefully uh, these women can, uh, you know, have, have a little peace now that their story's out. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. Check out my books on my web store. Really appreciate you guys for being there, and we'll be back soon.